Hi, this is Juan Mejia with New Blue FX, and today we're going to create a spooky Halloween title inspired by the movie Young Frankenstein. So, without further ado, let's get to it. One of the key elements found in the original title is the looming castle in the background. So first off, I want to import my background image and style it up a little bit. So I'm going to go into File Import Image and select my spooky castle. Once that image is imported, I just want to scale it up and position it right where I want it. So I want it to be, you know, pretty big and somewhat in the center. So that looks pretty good. Alright, so this is where the fun begins. Let's head over to the library, browse effects, and head on over to filters. I'm thinking this image of the castle is really nice, but it can stand to be a little bit more ominous. So let's open the Film Color 2 folder and select the Actachrome filter. You can see this filter immediately gives it a bluish tint. So in this instance, I want to make it even darker. So I'm going to set the tint to negative 100, drop my exposure down to negative 7, brightness to negative 16, and I'm going to go ahead and use the built-in vignette effect to increase the size and strength of the vignetting. Our background is starting to take shape, but I really want some of that moonlight to shine through the darkness. So let's press over to the filters once again and go into the diffusion folder. Select and apply the cyan spirit preset and you'll immediately see the beautiful blue light poke through. The only tweak I'm going to make to this effect is decrease the blend down to 60 to soften it a little bit. That's looking more like it. Next, I'm going back into the effects library. Head over to my stylizers folder this time and select the flicker folder. From here, I'm going to apply the water preset to bring in some of that nice flickering light. Once that's all done, let's go ahead and add some more ambience. This one's pretty simple. We want to add some depth to our title and fog is horror's best friend. I'm going to go to file, import video and select my fog video and scale it up to fit my composition. From here, I'm going to lower the opacity of the video from the style layer down to 26 and change the blend mode under the effects tab to screen to instantly create some atmosphere. Once you've downloaded and installed your font, you can click on the add text button in the workspace and select static text. From here, click on the text paragraph and change the font to Young Frankenstein Rotalic. This will give us a nice, italicized version of the classic font. Type in your text and center it using the text tools. You can also adjust the leading to get the words closer together. Scale up the title to a decent size and you're ready to move on. Once you've got your text paragraph ready to go, it's time to stylize, color, and animate it. The first thing I want to do is give it a green glow. To achieve this, I'm going to click on the gradient option in the style layer and select an in to out two color gradient. This will allow me to choose two colors and set the point where I want my gradient to affect my text. I'm going with two shades of green, a darker green and a yellow green. This looks good, but I want to select the stretch to paragraph checkbox to keep the brighter part in the middle of my text. While I'm here, I'm going to open the 3D controls dropdown, select the third bevel type, and set the bevel size to 1, just to give it a little bit more of definition. Next, I want to add some depth to my title, so I'm going to add a 3D face, set the color to black, Adjust the layer depth of this face to negative 1 and select the extrusion to 11 under 3D controls. This will come in handy when animating the title and moving it in 3D space. Use the on-screen globe handle in the workspace to slightly tilt your title. This will get you closer to emulating some of the original title's perspective. You can also use the transform sliders under the global tab. My rotation parameters are X negative 10.1, Y 6.3, and Z 1.8 on the rotation. You can now clearly see the result of the extrusion we added earlier. Finally, I'm going to go into the transitions library, look for the fly pass transition and select the drop preset. This will give the title an eerie fly-in effect. You may have noticed we get a bit of a shine on our text. 
To fix this and add a little bit more adequate texture to our text, I'm going to add a normal map. This will affect the way that light interacts with our title as if our title's face was made of stone. To do this, click on the text paragraph, head over to the 3D face, 3D controls drop down, and click on the normal map surface button. Look for the cherry bark texture and apply it to your text. You should immediately see a nice stone-like texture that interacts with light the way a real stone or wood texture would interact. Normal mapping textures is a great way to give your titles a more natural and organic look. Feel free to experiment with them in your future projects. So our title is looking pretty good, but I think it could look a little bit more authentic. Let's add some film grain. I'm going to teach you a nice little trick to add some great looking film grain over your entire title right inside of Titler Pro 7. I'm going to add a new rectangle, scale it to fit my composition, and select a gray color. Then I'll head over to the library, effects, filters folder, and select the film grain effect. For this title, I want to use the chemical crunch preset. That's some nice looking film grain, but we're not done yet. The last step is to lower this paragraph's opacity down to 20, and there we go. The original title has some flicker effects in its letters, but for this interpretation, I want to give it more of a full screen thunder effect. So I'm going to add a couple of white rectangles, scale them up to full screen, and then shorten them to be just about one second long each. I'm going to head over to the library, transitions, city lights folder, and apply the flicker preset as both in and out transitions to both of my new rectangles. Lastly, I'm going to do some light retiming. I'm going to trim my title to start right when one of my lightning paragraphs flickers so that it looks like it pops in right as the lightning strikes. From here, you can do some light tweaking and scaling of your paragraphs just to make sure you got everything just right. Alright, that's looking pretty good. I'm going to take this title back into Premiere Pro and add some sounds and spooky clips to make a full title sequence. Now we have a nice modern title inspired by a true film classic. But like any classic monster, there are many iterations, interpretations, and reincarnations that will pop up again and again. And that's it! Now you have the tools to relive the classics over and over again. This has been Juan with New Blue Effects, and I'll catch you on the next one.